Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonurai from Gladys Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you the new improved cut geometry tool in Revit 2024 and we will see what are the changes that have been accorded in cut geometry tool. So this is the topo solid here and if you go here and you can see this is the cut geometry like we are seeing earlier versions of Revit but there is some changes in the new improvements and if you click this arrow you can now cut geometry and uncut geometry so I am going to select this cut geometry here and you can see uh, there is a multiple cut here you can do multiple cuttings and you can also split face of cutting element so I am going to first uncheck this and I am going to first draw a element here so that we can cut from that so we can draw any other uh, extrusion shapes or you can draw any wall so i'm going to level zero and i'm going to select a wall here and i'm going to select wall foundation here and you can draw any shape here so i'm going to draw a wall here and we'll go to 3d view and you can increase the height of this wall so that it will be easy to cut here and now you can uh, copy this here and I'm going to first level 0 and I'm going to copy this so you can copy multiple times so I'm going to first increase some length of this wall likewise so I'm going to my 3d view and now I'm going to first modify tool here and now I'm going to select this cut geometry and now I'm going to select this one split face of cutting element so it will be splitted from the topo solid so I'm going to check this box and now I'm going to select this topo solid and I will select this wall here and you can see the improvement and I'm going to my wireframe mode you can see this is the gap which has been created and the element is splitted so I'm going to realistic mode here and now you can right click here and you can hide in view by element you are not supposed to delete this so if I'm hiding this you can see the gap is created and the uh, topo solid is, is splitted in uh, the width of the wall so whatever the width of the wall it will get splitted and whatever the objects if you have drawn so this is a nice improvement so i am going to my uh, previous command and if you what happens if you delete i am going to delete this so all the commands will be deleted so it will not get splitted so you are required to hide in your view so now I am going to my cut geometry tool and will select now the next multiple cut and I will also select this split face of the cutting element. I will check the, both these boxes. So I am going to select this topo solid now first and I am going to select this wall, this wall, this wall and this wall. And now for this I am going to select this wall and I am going to hide in view and now we will select hide in view by category so all the wall is uh, turned off and you can see the split gap is created so this is a nice feature in the cut geometry so you can use this in your projects to save your time so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in revit so thanks for watching bye bye